um, on our today's episode, we are going to draw a cycloid. Okay, we're going to draw a cycloid. I'm going to be using only one measurement. Now, in today's video, we won't do any calculation. We just just one the um, parameter and draw the cycloid. Let's say we're giving our radius to be let's say radius to be 21 millimeter. Now with this parameter, we will draw a cycloid, draw a circle of radius 21 millimeter. So with my compass, I measure. 21 okay this 21 and then I draw a circle now after drawing this circle I'm dividing this circle into 12 equal parts okay now if you don't know how to draw a circle to equal parts go to the description of this video I'll drop a link there on how you can divide the circle into 12 equal parts then you can watch and learn okay so very quickly Passing through eight, okay. We draw a straight line, okay. Now, right. passing through nine, we still draw a straight line, okay. And then the middle line, okay, which is this, and then we be passing through eleven, make it straight too. Pass and then we we'll measure the distance from 1 to 12. Okay, normally it's equivalent to 1 cm. We just measure because it's the same measurement. Look at the same measurement. So once you just get that measurement, okay, you measure from 1 to 12. Now you put at 1. Okay, then you cut an arc. Now put at that piece you cut. You're going to make out 12 equal divisions, okay? 12 divisions. one okay so we'll just call here two call here three call four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve okay this is just extra i'm not using that now the next thing we'll do is that we're gonna put our ruler here the last line with our set square okay we're carrying all the points upward I wouldn't want you to make divisions up all to take your time, so you just do this. Bring that shit up. I've done that. I'm 
to measure or number the off parts okay now very important we are moving on to the next step now please i want you to listen very carefully now with our compass we measure the radius of this circle okay this is the circle radius okay now after measuring the radius of this circle now this is our middle line this line four percent should is our middle line now when line two and the middle line meets which is here this is line two and this is the middle line they meet here okay and you pivot there and you draw a circle before you draw you have to just gauge if it's touching the two parts okay just do a gauge first before you draw the line now i'll advise you to put a paper on that to avoid the compass from sleeping we check i was trying to draw my compass was sleeping that's because i don't have the paper on that so put the paper on that to avoid the compass from sleeping okay let me get the paper so okay i put a paper on there and then i pivot here okay and i draw the circle i'll advise you um, Put a carton instead of a paper, okay? Just put a carton. Well, not as if it's more technical, but just, just put a carton. Or if you feel that putting a paper is okay for you, fine. You also put a paper there. Now, this is where line 3 and the P and the center line meet, okay? At this point here. So put the gauge and draw your circle, okay? Just gauge it. Okay, enter and then draw your circle. Now you are drawing a circle to see you the last number, which is 4. Okay. Now you pivot, start from point one, okay? Now watch this very carefully. Come on, this is circle two, right? This is line two. See this circle here, this pivot, you draw the circle, circle here, circle two. So where, this is where circle two and line two meet. You mark that point, this is line two. This is circle two. Okay, if you check it meets here okay this is circle 3 where is circle 3 and line 3 meets this is line 3 mark the points okay now come here this is circle 4 where is circle 4 and line 4 meets you mark the point okay just keep going this is circle 5 where is circle 5 and line 5 meets? You mark the point. Okay. This is circle 6. Where is circle 6 and line 6 meets? You mark the point. Can you see it? And this is circle 7. Our people. Where is circle 7 and line 7 meets? You mark the point. Okay. From here now. Okay. Now this is. Circle 8. Now, after you get to the pivot and you'll be judging it by this side. Now, what this is what I mean. This is circle 8. You come this way, line 8, circle 8, okay, here. Okay, this is 9, circle 9, line 9, okay, here. Can you see it? And then circle 10, and line 10. Okay, circle 11 and line, okay, this is 11 and line 11, okay. Now, this 
circle tool and line tool okay and then we'll get up to this now we'll call here 13 okay reason being that this is one normally our division is one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve okay but then i also divide into 12 equal parts why number this in this way so that it will be more understandable okay but if you wish to elongate this line too fine it's your choice okay so we come back to this point of people so yeah making subject equal devotion to that part of this video and click on the link there to watch how to join the epicycloid all right thank you guys for watching this video please subscribe to this channel and drop a like if you learned from this video and then drop a very lovely comments thank you and see you in the next episode